كانت لها زيارة أخرى إلى فلسطين وكانت لهذه الزيارة أثر كبير على أختنا سارة لأنها كانت في رمضان وفي هذه الزيارة زارت إحدى العوائل الفلسطينية هناك And I knocked on the door and the mother opened the door like this السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته فدال She was so full of light She was full of light Her eyes were shining her skin was shining and she opened the door as if I was going into the Taj Mahal as if she lived in the most beautiful place in the world and when I went into her home what was in her home Sheikh? Fish. Nothing, nothing. A room like this but empty. Only walls, floor, ceiling and one rug and the iftar for 10 people was on the rug and what was the iftar one plastic plate of um, hummus one plastic plate of uh, hubs one plastic place salad so when i sat down i said no 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 wallahi i tried not to eat sheikh i tried not to eat that woman's food but she kept giving me food she said you are our guest and she gave me so much and she wouldn't take no and I ate and I felt angry. I felt angry at Islam. I felt angry at a book that would tell hungry people to be hungry for 30 days. I was angry at the Quran for telling this poor woman not to drink water when always her water is dirty. So I said to the mother, why do you fast in Ramadan? Why? What is the point? And she said to me, I fast in Ramadan to remember the poor. This mother who had nothing in dunya, nothing, will never have perhaps anything in life. She was humbling her heart for other people who had less. What is this? This, this woman who knew only tribulations was emptying her stomach to thank God. For an empty stomach, what is this? And I thought at that moment, Sheikh, if this is Islam, I want to be Muslim. Nur